Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show as my lips stop working. Uh, today we're going to take a look at copying automation and we are going to do this using the mouse and not keyboard shortcuts. I've had several people get in touch with me over keyboard shortcuts not working the way that it's described in some videos. I went, uh, got with a guy today who was having that trouble. I showed him how to do it with the mouse and he's like, oh, that is so much easier. So depending on which you prefer, keyboard keyboard shortcuts are working with the mouse. Um, let's see uh, if this is any easier for you guys. And before we get started, if you guys could, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and enable the notifications so that you know when these crazy videos are going to start or <clears throat> swallow as uh, you can go into the description and go to my Patreon page, become a Patreon member where all support and one-on-ones and everything is free for all paid members. Um, of course, there is still paid training that you can sign up for, but for the most part, everything is included with your membership. So that should be pretty cool. And uh, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and, uh, and or go to Patreon. All right. So let's go to the uh, classroom here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, whoop, where my tracks go? There they go. I want to bring this down here, and I'm going to increase the size. So for those of you that are uh, that prefer to use the mousing, now some people say, well, using the mouse for a lot of these shortcuts is ridiculous, and um, it's so time-consuming, and blah, 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 blah. Well, they wouldn't have created the macro toolbar if they were that bad. So for me, I prefer using the mouse. So what we're going to do here, we want to copy automation from this track to this track. Really, really simple. whole bunch of different keyboard shortcuts. I am going to go into a couple of keyboard modifier options, but for the most part, I'm going to stick with the mouse. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to turn on the automation view, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click this, and I'm going to select volume and volume. Just like that. All right. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of automation points. You can even do this with a fader port if you like to use the fader port. And we're going to go like this. And I'm just going to kind of create some crazy stuff here. There we go. All right, so here's the automation. Now, I want this identical automation to be copied here. So the real important thing to do here at this point is to turn off the snapping so that you can place the cursor anywhere you want. So right now, I'm going to put the cursor on the first dot, just like that. Real simple. So now that the cursor is where I want this, posi oh, this to be pasted in this exact position, I'm simply going to just take a uh, uh, click away from the automation, click hold and drag, and you can see that all of the dots turn white. So now I'm just going to take the first dot, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say copy. I have to select the track that I want to go to, right click anywhere, click paste, and boom. It moves no problem. Now, with all of the automation points white, you can actually move. Whoops, let's try this again here. You can actually move the automation anywhere you want in case you want to make a little bit of an adjustment. Just like that. You can even, uh, you can even now make some slight changes if you want to, obviously. And let's say I click copy here again. I'm going to go to the first dot, right click, copy, and let's say I want to actually try to change the pan. I wonder if I can put the automation on the pan. I, this, I just thought of this now. Oh, yes, I can. Beautiful. So you can do, once you have actually copied automation data, you can actually copy that to any of the automation options in case you just want to be creative and see what uh, kind of things that you can do. So now some of the other things that you can do is you can go to the, let's see, where is, there we go. You can actually go to the tool selection here. Uh, this is usually the freehand pencil tool. If we go to transform, we can now highlight the automation and we can now manipulate the automation here. We can do all sorts of crazy things. I can even stretch it out for the whole length of the track if I want to. 
And I don't have to re-highlight or anything. I can even go ahead and squash this. And if the automation data is still in the clipboard, I can bring the cursor over here and right click and I can say paste. And there we go. I have more automation that I can use. Go back to the arrow tool. Just like that. And I can do all sorts of things like that. So the real important thing is for the automation mode or the automation view to be on. Otherwise, you're not going to actually end up with any automation data. Uh, and you also could risk copying audio to another track instead of the automation. And that was the issue that this guy was having that I uh, helped him out with today. And he just felt that all of this was so much easier using the mouse. So, so in conclusion here... <laughs> the important thing is, is when you're in automation mode and you're copying automation, make sure that once you copy the automation, make sure that you select the track that you want to copy to before you do anything and then put the cursor in the position that you want the automation to start and then hit paste. And you can see that it just makes it really easy. You can even highlight, uh, see if you're still with the arrow tool, you can highlight certain, whoops, you can highlight certain sections of the automation and move that independently. Whoops, see if I can do this again here. And we can move this independently within the automation that we already have, just like that. Works really well. So now if you can do this with uh, keyboard shortcuts, then great, awesome. For me, I like to be able to use the mouse so I can visually see all of the changes I'm going to make. Okay, so I hope that you guys found that helpful. And uh, if you are trying to copy automation and you end up copying some of the audio instead of the automation or some of the audio along with the automation, this might actually be a really good way for you to make sure that that doesn't happen and just use the mouse and you can see you have a ton of options for that. All right, very cool. That's going to do it for me. Let me find my show outro. And uh, remember, if you uh, join Patreon, I have a very cool video coming up. Um, I'm going to be mixing the song Killer Queen by the band Queen. I happen to have the tracks for it. I'm going to use all uh, Studio One native plugins and I'm going to be doing something called minimalist mixing. So I'm not going to use a bunch of time-tested ways to mix a song. I'm just going to be doing a quick mix, and I want to show you guys how to come up with something good with a lot of basic stuff that comes with Studio One. This goes for Studio One Artist, Studio One 3, Studio One 4, whatever you're going to do. I'm going to be using all of the tools that are available uh, throughout many of the different versions of Studio One. So I hope you guys will join me for that. All right, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.